This is a channeled reading from John Smallman, who is the channeler, and the personality that he is channeling is Jesus. Those who wear the mask of worldly strength and power to hide their fear are terrified of love. From Jesus through John Smallman on March 31st, 2012. Once humanity has awakened, all kinds of marvelous things are going to happen to welcome you home to your natural state at one with each other and with God. It is not possible at present to give you a realistic idea of what this means because of the limited capabilities of your human brains. As you soldier on in the illusion, completing the preparations that will enable your awakening, nevertheless, your amazement and overwhelming joy when it occurs will have been well worth the long and arduous struggles in which you appear to have been engaged for so long. Keep on practicing and intensifying your intent to engage lovingly and compassionately with others at all times and know that the effects of this behavior are bringing you ever closer to your divine destination. As the light within you burns brighter and brighter with your every loving thought, word, and action. The brightness of the light you are carrying affects everyone with whom you come in contact. There are no exceptions to this rule. And assist and encourage them to look within to find their own light. However, there are a few, very few on earth who are so pain-filled that they cannot at present accept the love that is being offered to them constantly. Although the act of offering that love to them does start them on the essential task of dis entangling themselves from the conflicting beliefs and desires on to which they are holding and that have caused them and many others so much pain and suffering. Although it appears to you that these pain-filled beings are continuing with their unloved agendas perhaps even more ferociously than ever in fact, their resolve is weakening and disintegrating as the divine love field swirls around them, offering them acceptance and forgiveness. And this sense of awareness of such unaccustomed kindness, because it is something they have seldom, if ever, experienced, it is causing them much alarm, which is why they are continuing their attempts to show themselves as extremely strong and invincible. Those who wear the mask of worldly strength and power to hide their fear are terrified of love and the kindness that flows from it because they believe that to acknowledge and accept it will disempower them, leaving them weak, disabled, and at the mercy of their countless enemies. This, of course, is not the case. Love embraces all without exception or discrimination. And when these so sorely damaged souls surrender to it, as is eventually inevitable for them, they will, like everyone else, find themselves to their utter amazement in a state of extreme and ecstatic joy. Ecstatic joy is the inevitable state towards which you are heading. Your only option in this matter is to delay your own arrival there. But why would you? None of you are by nature masochist, so 
Continue to release your unloving attitudes and behaviors. The need to be right, the need to judge, the need to condemn, the need for restitution so that you can move forward easily and swiftly to your divine destination where a magnificent welcome awaits you. Remember, at all times, you are surrounded by the divine field of love, of creation, the loving arms of your Father with whom you are one, always. Therefore, you have in every moment, in infinite abundance, all the assistance you need to help you keep moving forward on your path to awakening. Your destination is clear. Your arrival is assured. So just open your hearts to receive the love that so many are offering you and extend and share it with everyone you meet, communicate with, or call to mind and enjoy the sense of peace and confidence in your Creator's will for you that this attitude is continuously strengthening and intensifying. Truly, you have everything because your Father gave it to you. So come home and claim it. It is your right and your heritage and know yourselves for who you truly are. Your loving brother, Jesus. Website, johnsmallman.blog.com Be blessed.